The Zika virus first appeared in Brazil in May of 2015. Outbreaks have occurred before in Africa and parts of Asia, but the virus is new to the Western Hemisphere. Since then, as many as one and a half million people are thought to have been infected in Brazil, and the virus has spread to most of Latin America. Symptoms of Zika are usually mild. Just one in five people develop signs like fever and joint pain, and they usually go away within a week. But experts suspect that if a pregnant woman is infected, the virus can cause brain damage in her unborn child. Scientists think that as many as several thousand babies in Brazil could have microcephaly, a condition where infants are born with abnormally small heads and deformed brains. And they suspect that Zika is the main cause, but it's too early to know for sure. Brazilian doctors have also linked the Zika virus to a rare condition, Guillain-Barre, which can cause temporary paralysis in patients of all ages. But causation has not been proven. Zika is transmitted by the same mosquitoes that carry diseases like yellow fever, chikungunya, and dengue. That type of mosquito is also present in the United States, but mosquito control in the U.S. tends to be better than in Latin American countries. For now, the U.S. is advising pregnant women not to travel to areas where the virus is prevalent. El Salvador has gone so far as to recommend that women in that country wait until 2018 to become pregnant. The World Health Organization has declared a global health emergency. Still, a lot remains unknown. Is Zika what's actually causing the spike in microcephaly in newborns? And if the virus continues to spread, how fast will it spread?